Well, according to your sources, it was found. sinless, right? You just affirmed what I said, that Jesus lists out a few things which are going to happen. For example, the destruction of the temple. Did the destruction of the temple happen during Jesus' time? No. He's talking about so during the gen his gen that generation, not his own lifetime, but the generation then living. And of course, there were people who no, were alive. That, that's in your interpretation. But that particular generation did not, did not witness the destruction of the temple, brother. Because it was 70 AD. Yeah, but he was when talking, did, you say, AD 30. When, when did Jesus die? Come on. This, he says, this, no, but if you want to take it that way, the literal way, this generation shall not pass, right? Yes, exactly. That means the distraction happened later. No, you, you could be saying it. So now I'm talking about a future generation, a generation where AI is going to rule the world. I'm tell you assuredly, this is what Jesus said, this generation is talking about the generation to come. Oh, yeah, where here, this generation is not passed away Paul has to without. Prove that so, the what happens is. Exactly. For example, these things will happen, and the people of those generations are the ones. So that's well, the ones, that's what I'm saying. Sure. 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 Paul, we're having a friendly one. Look, I didn't offend nothing. No, 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 no,
first yeah. year. Right. Oh, so we why who are alive. Why do you do this? Now, so if, you have this. if Paul is so fifteen, huh? yeah, wait, wait, then you, you are right. You like, like, like uh, quotations about this man. Come we, on. We apply this to ourselves. Oh, no, actually, I, I, we who are alive. I don't think they are. You see, this is what I just We who are alive. Paul is not right. You can even do both ways. And you're selectively into brothers about those who are asleep. Paul is not writing to us. He's only writing to the Thessalonians. So that it's your assumption he's writing to people in thousands of years in the future. Paul had Paul thought the world was going okay, to Okay, so understand uh, it the way they quickly. did at that time. They had no conception of the world order continuing and infinitely for thousands of years. So that's your reading, but Paul himself did not think that way. Well, how do you know that he, Paul did not think that way? Because again, we who are still alive. Like, oh, that, that's what I'm saying. You have that, a lot of How do I know that Paul didn't think that way? Because he also spoke to the church, which believed that they were witnessing the coming of the Messiah. They stopped working. And he told them to go back to work. Because he didn't believe it. Do you see that? That is what he has to do. Do you get the sense in that passage? not concerning the resurrection only. What concerning the resurrection and concerning the honor and glory. All then shall partake of the resurrection. So when Paul says in this one, why, so why he, it looks to you like, yes, he's coming in that generation, but to another generation, uh, to another church, he's telling them, go back to work, God which is not letter, coming now. Which letter is this? We uh, can be selective, isn't it? Uh, you where he tells before, them, ask you to quote without it. work you should not eat, uh, you know, with oh, the yeah. church that believed that uh, the Messiah is coming immediately, so uh, they stopped working. So he's, gi he's given one uh, Thess right. Thessalonians 4, right? But and clearly, it's 4 to 15. But, yeah, but, but 4 yeah. 15. He said 4 yeah, 15. Yeah. If you read at the top, it's not talking from 13. About what he's talking from 13. About. No, so he wants to say, look, he wants to say that, uh, where is it? Where is it? For this we declare to you by a word from the Lord that we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will not precede those who have fallen asleep. Mm -hmm. let's, just go to, let's just go to the top. It says, but we do not want you to be uninformed, brothers, brothers about brothers. those who are asleep, <laughs> that you may not. It's not my resurrection. I know, I know, so I know. He no. doesn't know about, about those who are asleep. Exactly. Exactly. Anyone who's not willing to work, let's so, <laughs> okay. If but, this but is his evidence, then yeah. yeah. why is he in this Can you read the fact that you said it doesn't? Which one is it? The second Thessalonians 3.10. Second Thessalonians 3. Okay. So the background of this, and again, you go to build. Brother, we're having a normal conversation. Stop that. So, for, for when we were with you, we would give you this command. If anyone is not willing to work, let him not eat. For we hear that some of you walk across in idleness, not busy at work, and busy bodies. Now, such people we command and encourage in the He's annoying Shalini again, the, the young fella. And to earn their own living. Uh, go, that, going back, that, 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 no, but that is still compatible with the idea that during their lifetimes Jesus will come. Because just, a, just not at that, that moment, but coming back to 1 uh, Thessalonians chapter 4. For this we declare to you by the word of the Lord. So this is really trustworthy. And my point here is undermined. <laughs> we who are claim. alive. We who are alive. But, but, it, but alive, to be, uh, alive, is, is, alive is in reference to sleeping. He made sleeping. a false statement. Not, not to being, not to dead. But he said, for this we declare to you. That we who are alive, so he's speaking to the Thessalonians in AD 50, probably, okay. uh, that, we, that those of us who are still alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will by no means precede those who have died. So does it mean all so, of them so, are going to be alive at that time? Not necessarily. But by no means, yeah. But the point is that some of them will be, and if some of them will be, if some of them will be, according to Paul's word of the Lord, that means it's false. Yeah, well, that, that's years a great poll, but None can you show me any patriarch or any church father who agrees with that? This disproves that Paul is an authentic prophet. It means the no, Bible contains an error. And, and, what and, the hell? So, so, no, it doesn't. <laughs> it's your interpretation. Let's read that passage again. So, <laughs> so, that can what, what, what Paul is addressing. Huh? So, so you have two compatible interpretations. And, then he and because he doesn't want to accept ours, his interpretation is true. It this doesn't make sense. This is what the Muhammad calls for. And he left the part when he said that. Like, so that so you, you know which one he's referring to. It doesn't mean that we're all going to die. Of Asla. If he was addressing the Thessalonians, so then that means only the Thessalonians. He says, we who are. Who are the we? Who are the we? There's not addressed the church. Who are the we he's talking about? No, wait. That's what I'm asking you. So is it only exclusive to the Thessalonians? Not the Corinthians. Read verse 13. What does that mean? He's addressing. This is the Nobody Lesser. has that interpretation, even among no, the early church. They, they do because. Wait, though. No, 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 find it. Paul, find it. Paul, show, find show. It. You cut it show from the Bible. Wait, this is no. not exclusive to the church. No, 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 that's a lie. Pressure, pressure on that point. He's making a general statement. Whoever's alive. 
I'm just trying to find I have um, how many followers right here. I'm just trying to find the right beginning here. of the letter. Just find out who he is talking to, who the addressees are. That's right. right. The, the, the the letter is addressed to them, but this is but a general but instruction. This is not specific to the Thessalonians. You're saying it's not just for them. Let's see what he is addressing. So this is what he actually says. This is the actual beginning of the NIV. Paul, Silas and Timothy, to the church of the Thessalonians in God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. My grace be upon you. So he's explicitly talking to the Thessalonians. Yes, but he about who? Those about of what? Us, those of us, about we, believers. We about alive, believers. Will not precede those who That died. makes no sense. So he's going to that church. That group all the up, the, what he's saying is true of all churches, not just that church. Because they all died 2,000 years later for standing in High Park. Okay. Therefore, Paul is not an apostle yeah. of God, the Bible contains That doesn't no. follow. Can I, can I respond? Can I respond? One second, one second. So the yeah. letter is addressed yeah, to the Thessalonians, no doubt about it. Yeah? yeah. Thank God. The Luba is only exclusive for them. them. But the instruction in the middle. Okay. In okay. No. that is not... For I'm blocking the camera, the, sorry. The instruction there is for everyone. Sorry, Paul. How do I know that? Oh, because sorry. we know that there were certain instructions only to the Thessalonian church. Even for Paul to say, only you guys, you know, you are like... And excluding the Thessalonians doesn't make sense. Because he spoke some, uh, some instructions that... Uh, Corinthian church. When it's specific to the church, like for example the covering of head, etc., et we know there's only specific to that church. But other uh, teachings are general teachings for everyone. It's no way that he's saying that only the Thessalonian church is going to be raptured, uh, is going to uh, be raptured. <laughs> How less do we do it together? If, if, we, if we try and read this historically, imagine I'm a, um, a, a member. But you're not addressing it. You're still saying that. Wait, let me, let me, let me, let me speak. Which is not Just right. let me finish. Imagine I'm uh, a member of the church in Thessalonica in, in, in the ancient world, and I get this letter from Paul. He's addressing our church. So there's about, I don't know, 20, 50, maybe 100 people. And he tells us, the great apostle Paul, that we, Paul and the church, some of us, in effect, will live to see the second coming. Mm -hmm. It may not in be effect, Paul. It may not Who be. It may not be any particular individual. But some of us will live to see the end. Now, the, now he may not be excluding the rest of mankind. I'm not, that's not really. The, it's not actually the point. The point is. That's the point. The point is that that's some. The point. Well, it could be the whole of mankind, but it's still the mankind living then, living at that time. And then I can tell you, everyone living in the first century is dead. You just said mankind. So which means now, let's say. How can you say mankind and then still in the? He's from the church of Corinth. I'm having extreme interpretation of these guys. Let me respond. So if he's from the church of, notice one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight cameras have disappeared like a forest. Okay, so <laughs> that's your interpretation, Bob. Um, we're on camera. We're on camera. Well, come on, uh, if, if I'm from the from the Church of Thessalonica and he's from the Church of Corinth, and I say, sorry, pal, you know this instruction there, you know that that we who are alive is only for me. Only you this. know, so you no. probably yeah, yeah. alive, but you're not. Paul, I think that that's uh, faulty. It doesn't obviously. make sense. It doesn't make sense. And you you hinted at it. It's probably for the whole of mankind. And that's what the no, letter are, are is for. It's for mankind. It is not for the Church of Thessalonica. <laughs> though it is addressed to them. But, but, he's, giving Paul, them Paul is, okay. he's giving them a teaching. Okay. Paul is probably saying that some people who are alive Paul, will, will no, live. Not finished. Okay. He's giving them a teaching probably because they had a faulty understanding of, of the end times. So that's why he's giving them a teaching. But doesn't mean it's specific to them. It's for mankind. Okay. Some, the letter clearly states that some people then living, whether you want to have them just a Thessalonian, uh, the people reading the letter, hang, hang a second, or anyone else you care to mention, it doesn't alter the material point. Someone then living will be alive to see the second coming. Now, hang on. The problem is everyone died. That was thousands of years ago. No one is alive. Therefore, when Paul says this is the word of the Lord. He was lying, and the scriptures are false. Therefore, Christianity, as you understand it, is actually not true. Can it collapses. It when he says, some of you who are reading this letter, yeah. and today I'm reading it, and I might be no, no, alive when, when the, Christ comes. Like in fact, fact no, just the, like Paul believed, I also believe that Christ could come in my life. This is, this is but not a historical reading. But he is coming, because I do not know. Of that day, Paul Rob, but it's not exclusive. Of that day, and that hour, no one knows. Right, Jesus said, no one knows. knows. You're reading this in a... Okay, I can see what's happening. We're reading the, the, the Bible in way. I'm reading the story. 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 I'm reading the the people in the 21st century America. That's how the Quran is as well, right? No, so you think that the Quran is written no, no, for nothing today. to do with the Quran? No, coming, no, coming, 
Can you let me finish? We have to use the same standard. You don't have to use the same standard. Let me explain why. Why not? Because there's a category mistake. It's like apples and oranges. They're not the same thing. So coming back to the point, when I read it historically, I'm listening to what Paul actually said in his historical context and trying to understand what's going on. You take it out of its historical context and you see it as a free-floating word for all time. Now that's a very like Christian thing to do, yes. but that's not what I'm doing. So if I read it historically, it's a big mistake, but you take it out of its context, out of its history, and you see it as a free-floating word for you, everyone else in the future. Well, it it's just two different ways of reading the Bible. Bible. That's why I have a problem so and you, you don't. admit that there is another way of reading yes, the Bible. Yes, absolutely. And, and you choose absolutely. To, to take the one that suits you. No, no. no. Why if you do that, not you have to do that. Through the Islamic yeah. loop or how do you want to... No, 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 I don't agree But if you do that, you have to do that to the Quran as well. You have to do that to the Hadith I'm not talking about the Quran here. It's a different subject. I'm not talking about the Quran here. Don't bring in the Quran. This is a different subject. You have to be consistent, right? Can we... We'll talk about the Quran in a minute. I want to finish this subject. But you have to be consistent. What I'm saying is... No, apples and oranges. You're okay with doing it. But if you're doing that, you have to do it with every other document as well. No. Because you're selectively... Let me explain why. Let me explain why. This will be my final word. Because I... We're not getting anywhere. So you mentioned Quran. And then I'm going to move on. Defend your book. Go on, man. You see, this guy is trying to fake me. Paul, defend your book. You're Muslim, right? Uh, let me explain this. When I started to read Paul in this way, I was a, 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 a committed, born-again Christian. Really? Really? Uh, uh, you, okay. You see, right. he's trying to bait uh, me. Okay, fine, right. If, if oh, I can right, just right, continue. Right, right. Committed, born-again. Uh, okay. uh, when I was studying this at university, one of my, uh, some of my teachers okay. were priests, some were pastors. Not all of them were. So this is something that is accepted within the mainstream Christian church, okay, fair, that you fair. read the Gospels and the letters historically. This is not something that suits me, as like my desires. This is something that is actually growing up within the church, reading these scriptures historically. And, and when, I look, when I read scholars about this, many Christian scholars admit there is a mistake here in Paul, Name that he them. thought the end was coming in his own lifetime. Name the and his own, and uh, well, the I'm not, I, I can, if, if you're asking me for a list of right names, right. I can give you a list of names. Go so ahead, this is ahead. this is Name nothing to do right with I'll find uh, right now for you. nothing to do with my desires. Okay, this is something fine. as a Christian we we looked into academically. So I, I'm satisfied when I was a Christian that there was a mistake. This was long before I knew anything about Islam. And most scholars that I'm aware of in British universities like Jimmy Dunn at Durham, for example, uh, Leslie Holden at King's College in London, and, uh, and others at Oxford and Cambridge, the these are all ordained Christian people. They also acknowledge this problem. It's a problem. problem. Yeah, it's a problem for them. These are professors at okay. Oxford and Cambridge can and elsewhere. I, it's I not respond? a Muslim desire thing. This is a Christian acknowledged problem. But if you want to read the Bible that way, you're free to do so. This is Speaker's Corner. You can do what you want. No, no. Uh, can I respond? To Please that? do. Okay, so again, let me go back to the Church of Thessalonica because this was addressed to the Church of Thessalonica, but it's not an instruction which is specific to them. And how do I know? Because it's addressing yeah, a, a question which they have. And yeah. that question is not specifically only to them because it means that if what you're saying is right, then only the church in Thessalonica okay. has to be has to be. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll agree with you. I'll agree with you on that. I'll right? agree with you. So it argument. is not a question yeah, yeah. that is only perta pertaining okay, to them. Fair so enough. Paul is giving an instruction. So if it's not only pertaining to them, then it, it is for all generations. No, no, that doesn't follow. It doesn't follow. It could be other people in his time, but not for you 2,000 years later. How do you exclude me? Because it's an that? unhistorical because reading. It's I have the historical. same doubt. As a church in Thessalonica, I have no, the same no. doubt. So then what Paul is telling me is that, you know, uh, some of you reading this, you will be alike so, when Christ I comes. I think part of the problem is... And the rest of you, you will be alike. Paul, in, 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 in my view, Paul did not think he was writing no, wait, scripture. I'm not finished. I'm not finished. Okay, I thought you so, had. I thought you were finished. finished. No, if you apply this standard of, you know, saying that this is exclusive to the church in Thessalonica, this is not for all time, then you have to apply the same standard using the Quran, using the Hadith and all those other yeah, books no, as well. No. Why not? Well, okay. Because, no, well, let me explain. Let me explain. Let me explain. Just a second. Let's hear. Let's hear. Let's hear. Come back from Part of the problem... Part of the problem here is our, our different understanding of what Paul is doing. I, I don't believe Paul ever thought he was writing Holy Scripture. I don't think Paul believed he was writing the inspired Prove word of God. This is according I, to what? I, this is according to my, my reading. So, 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 so well, why does this matter? Because if Paul thought he was writing occasional letters, like he did say to the Thessalonians or the, or the uh, Galatians or Corinthians. I, I don't believe, by the way, Romans is an occasional letter, but these, this one is, one Thessalonians. He didn't think in his own mind, because it was just an occasional letter, he was just writing to people, not Holy Scripture, not inspired by God, 
not the, not the Bible, as you would call it. Rubens. He was not thinking about thousands of years in the future. And where someone like you comes along and says, ah, Paul's speaking to me. I think that is an unhistorical, anachronistic Rubens. understanding of Paul. So that's why I think you're making a category mistake. You think Paul was writing scripture. He, didn't, he, did, he denied, you're actually, an in 1 Corinthians 7, he denied what he was saying was from God. But he gave his opinion in 1 Corinthians 7, 12. He denied what he was saying of God. So he didn't always think That's that what he was writing was from God. That's the problem. Even though you think everything he wrote was from God. Nope. And I think, I think that, that, that is the difference. Yes. So can I respond to that? Yeah. So Paul himself says that all scripture is God breathed and useful for teaching. So Paul, Paul, this is what Paul says, and you you deny that right at the very start. I think I think yeah, I think all that's scripture incorrect. is God breathed. This is what Paul says. No, it's okay. not. Now Peter. It's not what Paul said. One, two Timothy three sixteen. No, you miss you've misread it. <laughs> okay, can you read it? Then? Yes, I can read it from memory. Let's read it. Okay. Let's read. Let's read. Okay. So what, what, okay. That, that passage... But no, let, me, no, let no. me finish and I'll give you a chance to read. I thought you were going to ask me to explain. Now well, you're no, saying no, don't. No, no, because I wanted to address the other points as well. well, well let me just address that 2 Timothy 3.16 point. Okay. If you read the passage, the letters addressed to Timothy, two points I want to make, bear with me. Paul is, is addressing Timothy and he says in the paragraph, if you read the four or five verses before that, yeah. that you, Timothy, knew as a youth the holy scriptures uh, that you knew as a youth. And those scriptures are inspired by God. Now this is referring to the Jewish Bible, not to the New Testament. So when you say all scripture, you are you are misinterpreting it if you say this is referring to no, your Bible. The, the New Testament the didn't exist. The, the New Testament didn't exist. The second problem is this, this is much more serious. There are excellent reasons, and most academic. I know you. He's you don't, jumping. Don't like me no, saying no, this. He's no, jumping. No, let me finish. Let me finish let, because I didn't no, finish. No, I haven't finished. Time. I said there were two points. I didn't finish the previous. I, I'm, you haven't let me finish my point. Let me finish my You're second jumping point. Jumping away. The first Paul, point is all scripture doesn't refer to the New Testament, okay. like you uh, incorrectly claimed. The context clearly suggests it's not. Okay. Secondly, there are excellent reasons for thinking that two Timothy is a forgery. Most scholars who are Christians today acknowledge what that Paul did not write. Did not write two Timothy. Theme. It is a fake. What are their names? So the Where irony is, is you're quoting. Oh, that's a big claim. To Come back on. up your claim for inspiration about a book that's not even written yet, the New Testament. So on those fallacy. three counts, I'm afraid your argument falls. Let's no, keep our feet on the ground. Come on, that's a big claim. Please. But first, let me respond to the earlier point and complete the earlier point. Okay. So yeah. we are saying that all all scripture is God breathed. We're all included, Lamin. We're all included. All included. Not the New Testament. Peaceful way. All included. According to you, you're saying that it's not. It Testament. is peaceful. But Peter himself He's talking low, he's not shouting. That's a fake as well. That, that's a fake. So <laughs> now, <laughs> you're saying that's a fake. Every scholar in the world thinks it's a fake. Okay. I don't have <laughs> any scholar who thinks it's a fake. You guys any academic, they all think it's fake. I didn't interrupt you. Please let me finish. Paul, it can be your own opinion, but you don't have to say they're all scholars agree on it. It's true though. It's true. It's a fact. Let's be honest. It just happens to be the case. Let's be genuine. Now, you are saying... Oh dear. This is bad. It goes with cucumbers again. So you're saying every scholar, we'll do our best. We'll do our every best. scholar is saying that, that this is... These are your no, you know scholars. Your scholars exactly. say it's fake. So now what I, let him finish. What let him I can pop, show pop. you is scholars that show you... Go on, go on, go on, brother. Go on, go on. Pick up on horse. Why? Why you want longer than donkey? This could be a little bit... Uh, uh, this is very uh, unfortunate. What, hey, what religion is he? This guy. Hey, I'm not going to go... Enough. Go away. Thank you. The question is, does he represent his religion? And that, you know, oh, yeah, he does. You dirty one. You dirty one. That's not how you behave. Yeah. Yeah. Be What's that cucumber thing? Oh, that, that anyway, go, 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 go. Finish, 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 finish your point. Carry on, carry on. So, we are talking about uh, Peter affirming yeah, yeah. The, uh, the, well, the teachings of Paul. In a fake text, yeah. Now, you can say that all the scholars today, and, and again, I'm jumping and not to the first one. I have not addressed the first one. I'm going to the second one. Because that's what it's widely accepted. Now, scholars can say that, you know, they don't agree. But I want you to show me one early church father who said that this is fake. Yeah. Today people can stand up and say it's fake. Today people are saying Muhammad didn't exist. Would you agree to that? And they have proof for that. Because to there is no archaeological evidence for Muhammad the existing. Islam, There's no existing for Mo uh, Mecca existing at the time of Muhammad. So there are scholars who are saying that they are not there. So would you stand up and say that that's fake as well? Right. So now, you seriously that, want to be addressed this? You seriously want me to address this point? Yeah, I'm very I do. Okay, right. But let me not. I'm not finished. I let you finish. I thought you let me address it. Just Okay, just well, let me know, so let me know when I have permission to speak. Stand up and say all sorts of things. But I want a church father who said that Paul is uh, that two Timothy. Sorry, speak. brother. I want a church father who said that all these other letters that you're saying are fake. And then I'll agree with you. 
the same way as you could tell me, you could come back and tell me, you know, today the people are saying that Muhammad is fake, uh, you know, he didn't exist at that time, uh, Mecca didn't yeah. exist at you that time, but you told me said this. somebody you're, in the you're, Sahaba you're repeating, some... your, you're repeating yourself. Right. No, no, I'm saying, saying you, you could tell me, ball. you could tell me, show me one of these people who said it and then I'll believe you. Right. Right. That's a curious criteria. Okay. The reason why scholars today, modern historians, think it's a fake, and I would say 99% of the world's experts think it's a fake. No. I, I, I what would do you disagree? mean no? I, mean, I would disagree. Yeah. I, I'll quote for you scholars. Let me tell you what. Let me tell you what. Let me tell you what. Okay, then you tell me what's going on. Dave, 99%? Percent. Wow. Yes. Wow. I'm only, I'm Come on, I'm Paul, let's be honest. Well, well, where, where did you get that from? Uh, there's only one scholar actually who does think two pieces oh, written the, the by Peter, <laughs> and that's J. N. D. Kelly, and he was a patristic scholar uh, right. at Oxford. He was. So you can quote so, him. So, the other but guys. as I say, okay. 99%. Uh, every uh, every other. If you go to new, if you read oh, any right standard oh, critical introduction to oh, the New Testament, one, you, you will find that two Peter is seen as a forgery. One, yeah. the, anyone, uh, just two Peter, two Peter. These are all Christian scholars. Uh, which one? Uh, Ambar, uh, well, you want names. Can go back. You want names? Yes. Want names don't please. work, please. Uh, okay, J I don't know, but okay. I'll have to go back. I will give you a name. Yep. Uh, J uh, Jimmy Dunn at okay. the University of Durham. So, said, said He's what a professor where? of New Testament. Said what where? So he right. said two Peter, uh, two, uh, yeah, two of course, Kennedy's fake. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay. Uh, everyone acknowledges this. this okay. is, if you knew this subject, you wouldn't be surprised. Okay. Everyone knows this. Okay. All right? yeah. Now, well, what are some of the reasons why it's fake? For example, Peter was a fisherman who was unlettered, as it says, in, as it says, in, the, as it says in the book Paul, of Acts, Paul. these were untutored, it actually says it in Acts. No, it's still a little yeah, Two Peter is written in Twitter. sophisticated it Greek, it is written with a uh, with highly educated uh, uh, language, it references, it references things, it's, it's hard work talking over uh, people who are allowed voice. Well, um, it's easy to lie, isn't it, Paul? And also, it refers in, in the passage uh, to uh, the, 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 the apostles, as if they were a prior generation, as if some time historical distance actually occurred. He's not actually talking himself about as a contemporary of the apostles. You get a sense that he is looking back at that time when the apostles lived. But it also, uh, but it also says that he was an eyewitness of the transfiguration in chapter two. So it's particularly egregious forgery claimed to be present, uh, even though other indications clearly suggest that he is not. He's dated usually to about eight, the middle of the second century. That's when he's dated. Now Eusebius, the early church historian, in his book, uh, gives a list of the books that are accepted. Two Peter is disputed. It's not one of those that is universally accepted. Disputed. Because it, no, you're saying disputed. Uh, disputed. 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 Well, but that's what he says. I mean, that's not my view. It's his view. Because uh, a lot of people have never heard of this letter. It wasn't widely. It wasn't widely known in the early church. It suddenly appeared. This is a Protestant, no? Orthodox, I mean. Who? You. Me, I'm, I'm a Christian. I'm, I'm not Catholic. You believe, Catholic. You believe in solo scriptura, no? No, I don't. No, I don't. What do you believe in? I believe that Christ is Lord. He died for me, and I believe in the crucifixion and the resurrection. Do you believe only the Bible? What it says, nothing else. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Albania, the yeah. Orthodox Christians, and the Orthodox Christians, we destroy him in one minute. Yeah. When he says we don't know who Matthew is, who wrote the Bible, who no, nothing like that. No, no, no. But we believe in the holy tradition and the oral tradition. Okay. Because in the Bible it says many things were said and done which the whole world wouldn't fit. But that is my so primary source. I take the Bible yeah, first yeah, before yeah. anybody. No, no, you take the tradition first because it's them people who decide what goes in the Bible, what books, and they compile them. Anyway, okay, but we take both together. Okay, I understand what you're So our tradition, the apostles and the oral, was passed down to the priest, the, the church fathers, by the way. Yeah, 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 That's what we have. So we know who Matthew, that he wrote the book, and we know his family and Peter. So it shows him in one minute with the holy tradition. But if you go by the Bible alone, we wouldn't know because there's many things. No, no, I tell you, no sola scriptura. Yeah, come up like yeah, yeah. Stop all this and come up Orthodox Christians. No, no, brother. Oh, no, I know. This is verse from the Bible. It doesn't, doesn't matter. No, it's not Catholic. Brother, it's just a verse from the Bible. When my mom died, 51 years old, uh -huh. I went to the church and my priest, he wrote that verse uh -huh. in the thing, and I still have it up to now. Yeah. 33 years. But then... Now, Peter, one of the so from that sermon alone, 5,000 people were converted. Now, if he was speaking rubbish, I'm sure nobody would, be, would have been converted. He was support, He was obviously very eloquent. Now, you're making writing, assumptions. Reading and, and writing. Making assumptions. Not preaching, reading and writing. You gotta go to the toilet. Can I finish? Can I finish? Can I finish? 
So if, if Peter was sorry, speaking, bro. And, and around 5, when it comes, it comes. <laughs> then it obviously means that he was quite eloquent. Well, sorry, I'm making an assumption here because you made an assumption. It, 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 it's quite what? Eloquent in, in the language. The reading, for a food, writing. In the language. reading and writing is no, different. It's I, a specialized I'm coming to that call. Allow me to come to that. Okay. So now if he can speak that well, yeah. if he could speak that well to convert so many thousand people at, at one point of time, he also had a scribe. And we know that Mark wrote down for Peter. You know that, right? So Mark was writing down for Peter. So there's no, um, uh, no thing that says that Mark would not have written down what Peter said. So even if you go with the assumption that Peter was so illiterate, you agree Peter didn't write I can it. still tell you. agree with me, Peter didn't write it. No, no I'm not. I agree with no, no, no. I said even if. I said even if you go with the assumption that Peter was illiterate, I, can, I will go with the assumption that Peter was very eloquent in the language and Mark was his scribe. So Mark could have written it down in very good Greek because Mark was, what, Mark was a scribe. But Peter didn't right? speak very no, good I'm, I'm, Greek. I'm, 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 no, I'm not finished. Peasant. I'm not finished. Speak, no, no, in that Greek was the lingua franca at that time. No, it, no, not, they, in also, it was not in Palestine. Yes, it, it, it was in Galilee. It was. The, the very city of Cosmic, not, uh, not in Galilee. Uh, which was that? Uh, so, Mike, so, to, to your point, right? He's referring to Acts 4.13, right? Sorry? And then John well, uh, and John have recounted Can I read that? Acts 13. Right. Right. Of, of a Jewish people. You're right. And then Same. now the Sanhedrin are saying that they don't look like they're right. in the scripture. TV studio. But right. do that. Exactly. So this yeah. is what people are saying about them, right? As he said. Yes. When they saw the courage. Don't ever try me. Don't ever try. Go try your mother, not me. I'm telling you clearly. I'm telling you clearly. What religion is What religion is What religion is What so, but they're making her famous. Like it or not, they're making her famous. I, I don't know if they want to make her famous or not. But they're making her. Oh, she's going around. The, uh, they're actually making her famous. When she says something, no, no. They are making her a hero. No, no. No, no. Making her a hero. Listen, listen. I'm telling you, you people are making her a hero. Not us. The Christians are not making her a hero. We all are making her a hero by running at the back of her and accusing her. Paul, Paul, let me finish my point. Yeah, carry on. Right. So Paul. talked a long time. So Peter, we are talking about Peter here, and. This is an assumption that you made, and I'll just read this. When they saw the courage of Peter and John, they realized that they were unschooled, ordinary men. I mean, exactly. Okay. So they unschooled. They right. Didn't go to that's my point. No, that's point. not what it means. That's unschooled. Not what it means. They're illiterate. No. That's, okay. That's not what Fine. happens. But, they but you have not addressed. Let me go back to his point before he moves. Let, let me go back to your point. So if you say scholars are saying that th this book was a forgery, then you also have to address no, that scholars are saying that Muhammad himself is a forgery. Nothing to do with Muhammad. You always yeah, want to bring no, in. But you have to address it because scholars. Are talking, talking that it's, now you're Peter. talking. No, you're talking about you're being unschooled. You're deflecting and Paul, diverting Paul, because no, please, you're let, let me finish. Yeah. Let me finish, no Paul. You're talking about somebody who's unschooled. Therefore, scholars are saying that he he was illiterate and could not have written. But it's now it's one of there many is, reasons. One of many reasons. Paul, let me finish. Again, let me make my point. You're yeah, saying you that a person point. who's unschooled, so because he's unschooled, scholars are saying that he 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 could not have written. It's a forgery. Yeah, now, I'm I talking agree. about the lack of archaeological evidence from Muhammad, the lack of archaeological evidence, there's absolutely no evidence for these two, you and you still believe, well, you always want to change Paul, the subject. but you all no, still no, believe, no, I'm no, not no, changing no, the subject, no, I'm being no, consistent, no, I'm being no, consistent, no, you still believe, no, you still believe that Muhammad no, existed, no, no, you still no, believe that Mecca was in existence, that a thousand four hundred years ago, let me finish, you're not letting me finish, because, my final I'm making a comparison, I'm walking away now. I'm making a That's comparison. Will you let me finish? Want... I'm going to say something no, now. No, because he was talking. What, what, what so I don't like about your attitude is you won't right. have an honest... Let, let me finish. Paul, an honest discussion about the Testament. You're always bringing in whether Mecca well, existed. No because no because, because it's, it's a very good case. That's an even stronger case. Here it's just education which is a problem. There is evidence. This is deflection from Christians. It's not. have a very weak argument. It's comparison. to hear what your own scholars are saying about your own Bible, you didn't name the Jack, which, is, which contains forgeries. And that's why you have to rush away and attack another religion because you're not attacking. I'm not attacking. Well, you, I, I'm you, you are motivated by, oh my God, he's attacking my Bible. Quick, let's attack Muhammad. Quick, I am attack not yourself. attacking. You are but doing then that. You're, you're being defensive. That. Why are you being so defensive? I'm now going to move away. And it's nice to talk.
Uh, but but Paul, why, why can't you address that one? Good to talk to you, sir. Anyway, What's yeah. your name, by the way? Uh, I go by the name of Ravi. That's my name. Go by the name. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You, you see, you see, you see all the violence. You, by the name of <laughs> you see all the violence, <laughs> right? No so, yeah. Hey, yeah, Paul, wait. Bye. Don't run, Paul. Paul, oh, oh, don't run. Look what you've done. Yeah. Look what you've done. You make him run away. Can I have a conversation, Paul, with you? Don't run. Don't go away, guys. Hey, Paul. Hey, Paul. Paul oh, Williams. Paul uh, Williams. Oh, Williams. He did not address. I have never can, I, can I have a conversation? Can I, can I, he didn't address the, the issue of Me Mecca having no archaeological evidence. Or Muhammad, there's no archaeological evidence for that. Yeah. Not mine. This is all the Thank you. I don't know. Mr. Paul Williams. Hey, yo, Paul, come back here.